Get ready for truth and transparency from an ocean of liberal tears. Welcome to the Blue Shark Show with your host, Mike Lang. Let's talk ethics. Ethics for annexation, Chris Kaufman. Ethics for wastewater, Chris Kaufman. Ethics, ethics, ethics. And what does Chris Kaufman, the city manager, do? He turns it around and he goes after the newly elected mayor. Yeah, I thought it was funny that Chris Kaufman, you know, filed this formal complaint alleging all types of violations all the way up to the penal code and talking about a class A misdemeanor or possibly a felony all over a Facebook post. You know, the mayor, even with the title mayor, has the ability to endorse whoever he wants, whether that's on Facebook, whether that's, you know, in person at an event. It doesn't matter as long as he's not using government resources when he's doing that. And that, I think, is the fundamental uh, misunderstanding that both the city manager and the city attorney uh, have on this issue. I'd even go a step further that Chris Kaufman targeted the mayor. Because if you look back at other Facebook posts from Councilperson Trish Reiner, she endorsed somebody. Uh, Dr. Wadley endorsed somebody. Yet this is egregious in the way that Mayor Jim Jarrett did it. And don't get me wrong. I'm all about the First Amendment. And I don't think Trish Reiner did anything wrong or Wadley in endorsing anybody or bringing things on their page. I think that's their First Amendment right. And they should be transparent. That's why I believe that Chris Kaufman, who says, oh, this is egregious, was targeting the mayor. I, didn't, I, I did not look at those okay. because this okay. one was egregious enough. We needed to talk about it. Okay. You know, and I've wondered that myself. A lot of times when you have a guilty person, whether they're guilty of, you know, funneling funds through a nonprofit or wire fraud or anything like that, they'll often try to cast their own insecurities and their, you know, lack of ethics onto somebody else. And for Kaufman to go through and do this to the newly elected mayor, I think did a major disservice to the whole city. And also, you know, we got to remember that city attorney, uh, Jeremy Sorrell from the Hyde Law Firm, uh, they played a big part in this too. You know, they gave what I think is very poor advice to the city, saying that, yeah, there's a possible violation here. There was no violation there. It was all a witch hunt. And to me, it seems like Kaufman is trying to get the attention off of himself. Yeah, it was a pretty big waste of taxpayer money throughout this whole debacle. And what was the point over Facebook posts when we've had other council members endorse people? Candidates seek endorsement all the time. And as a citizen, you have the legal right to endorse others in their campaign. That's perfectly fine. The discrepancy there is whether those government funds were used in any way or not. And so there's that fine line there. And they clearly were trying to go after Jim Jarrett. Just the smear campaign basically is what this boils down to. It sure was. And you have Governor Abbott that has his own Facebook page with Governor Abbott on it. You have state senators, state reps. You have a lot of people with their campaign page. And the legal advice that Chris Coffin was given by either Jeremy Sorrell or the Paul Hyde law firm uh, was wrong. When you go to an ethics hearing like this, you better have your ducks in a row. You better have your gun loaded, ready for bear, and not fire off any blank rounds because that's exactly what Chris Kaufman did. He wasted the taxpayer money. He was not prepared. You can tell by watching the video. And please go to the city video and watch it yourselves and see how all this transpired. Whatever the case is, the information wasn't there, the evidence wasn't there, and it was a good vote by the ethics board, two to one, on not moving this forward, which is what exactly they should have done. And I think they were expecting this to all be done in executive session, and I thought it was really pretty cool of the mayor, Jim Jarrett, to say, no, you know, let's do this out here in front of everybody, you know, transparency is huge with him. He said, you know, let's let's just have it out in public. And, you know, that's really the best way to do it. Yeah, transparency brings about accountability and lets the people see what is really going on behind those closed doors. They don't just get one side of the story. They can see both sides and then decide for themselves 
what's right, what's wrong, what's true or not. Jim Jarrett, Mayor Jarrett, paid for his own attorney. And, you know, we already said that there's two attorneys involved for Chris Kaufman that us taxpayers are going to have to, you know, pay for once again through the incompetence of the city manager. And he, the city manager goes over the charter and talks about you can't do things for private businesses, private entities. It's unethical to do that as a city council person, mayor, or even himself. Home rule charter is established by the state constitution that was voted on by the voters to allow local control. Our, our city council adopted an ordinance that says that an elected person or myself cannot act impartially and give preferential treatment to any private organization or individual or use their position for private gain. Yeah, Kaufman talked about the Home Rule Charter and how they can more or less do whatever they want, but I think one thing that he's forgetting is that the Home Rule Charter does not sit above the United States or Texas constitutions, which both give us a right to free speech, freedom of expression, all that good stuff. And that is, you know, at the core of this issue with the controversy around Jared endorsing Kathy Reedy. You know, I, to me, it's a First Amendment issue. He can endorse whoever he wants, as far as I'm concerned. There's, like I said, the governor, mm -hmm. state rep, state senator. The governor even puts out videos endorsing people and puts it on Facebook. Yeah, so after this giant waste of everybody's time and, you know, taxpayer money, we have to ask ourselves, what do we do to remedy this? You know, do we need to look at docking Chris Kaufman's pay for the cost of all this? Or maybe we could dock uh, the pay that Chris Kaufman receives and the pay of the city attorney firm, the Hyde Law Firm, and in this case, Jeremy Sorrell, that gave this really bad advice to the city about what is and isn't public information. Campaign, and Mike, you know this, campaign stuff is different from government stuff, and it should be. They have different rules. And again, the city attorney and the city manager failed the taxpayers miserably in this. And I think that, you know, maybe we should look at reevaluating those contracts and seeing if we can find somebody else for both of those positions. I think that's a great idea. And I think them compensating the taxpayers for a waste of their time and money in this whole shenanigans is the least that they could do to make up for wasting everyone's time. Councilman Rodriguez, Reiner, Corrigan, Wadley, where do you stand? You've had enough situations here between the forced annexation and what your city councilman said about the voters wouldn't have voted for it, so he went ahead and did it anyway. Should have been the only thing you needed to get rid of that city manager, yet you didn't. Then you had the wastewater treatment facility at $900,000. Should have got rid of your city manager, but you didn't. And now you're targeting a city mayor with false allegations. The city council needs to step up and have a vote to get rid of Chris Kaufman and find somebody that's going to be more of an ethical city manager. Shark Show out.